I'm Short Bear here with another Code Wars challenge. This one's a level eight and it's in Python. And as always, the link to the challenge will be in the show notes below the video. So feel free to code along. All right, so this one is called the Feast of Many Beasts. Uh, and so basically you can read through the instructions here, um, but essentially each animal is gonna bring a dish. Uh, so we're gonna write a function called feast uh, that takes in the animal's name, which is the beast parameter, uh, and then the dish that they're bringing, uh, which will be under the dish parameter. And so basically we're just checking to see if the first letter of the animal's name matches the first letter of the dish they're bringing. Uh, so let's give this a try. All right, so there's our feast function and there's our beast. Uh, this will be the name of the beast as well as the dish uh, that they're bringing here. And so we're supposed to return a Boolean here. So let's compare their first letters. So let's see, return beast. Okay, so this would be the entire beast string and I just want the first character off of that. So we'll just do beast zero. And we're testing to see if it's the same letter as the dish they brought. So we're gonna go dish zero. Let's test that out. All right, so got some issues here. Uh, so let me scroll down here and look at the tests and kind of see uh, what the issue is. Uh, okay, so we have brown bear. Ah, this is interesting. So their name is gonna have uh, uh, spaces here. Hmm, brown bear, bear claw, chickadee chocolate cake. Okay, something's up here. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Uh, great blue heron, garlic nan should be true. Brown bear, bear claw. What's this, what's up here? Okay. Feast takes the animal's name and dish as arguments and returns true or false to indicate whether the beast is allowed to bring the dish to the feast. Okay, so for example, great blue heron is bringing garlic nan. And the chickadee is bringing chocolate cake. Dish must start and end with the same letters. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So we're testing if they start with the same letters and they need to end with the same letters as well. So heron, nan. All right, so it's good to read the instructions there. Okay, so we have two clauses here. Uh, basically what we do here is uh, if these two are not the same, we can just return false. Uh, and then let's test the last letters as well. So we're kind of doing this in two goes. So this is how you get the last character uh, from a string, uh, just negative one. So no matter how long the string is, this will always get you the last character. And so we're te testing to see, sorry, if the dish uh, last letter is also the same. So here we're testing the first letters and if that does not work, we're just gonna go ahead and return false and be done. Uh, so if that does work, then we're gonna come down here and test the last letters. Okay, so that one does work. And we'll do the full submission here. And second time's a charm.